Hi, today we're going to be doing another um, mystery tackle box. This one isn't a pro, it's a um, bonus one with a bonus lure. And this one was, I don't even remember, but this one's about 3 pounds, which is surprisingly heavy for fishing lure, so I don't even know what we're going to get. Uh, first, we're going to get a sticker, actually, that says, you know, just fish it with a nice fishing hook. J hook, actually. And then it's just from fishingcrate.com. Um, is that sponsored for another loot box? That's interesting. Um, next we have the card showing what we got. I'll go go on with that during actually because I like to keep the suspense up. Hey right, guys, I do get the golden ticket. Okay, so first off we got some KVD. Um, I'm actually gonna set this down here. We got some KVD worms to look like, so let me just open these up. Oh yeah, one second, let me just, there we go. We got some KVD worms, um, so like a watermelon melon color, or a natural fish color. But as you can see, these are actually very interesting because it's not rounded, it has, it's a rectangle. It has um, it's squared off on each side, so I've never seen a worm like that that's squared off on each side. But uh, oh, that ooh, I actually smell like every video. <laughs> this one smells like coffee. I actually kind of wanna just ah, uh, I love the smell of coffee, but I don't I don't like it unless it's iced. <laughs> but the smell of coffee, mm. it just tastes like um, coffee. Sorry, smells like coffee. I didn't taste it. And I haven't tried coffee um, scented lures. I don't even know how a bass would react to that. And next we have some uh, Riot uh, Crawfish. Riot's a nice company. Um, kind of small, just getting in stores, but man, they have nice lures. And ooh, this is, whoa. Most detailed um, soft plastic I've ever seen in my life, so. I'm just going to go down this slowly and stop from jiggling. So first, we have this, which has these little tubes on it that have actually uh, things offspring out of them. Sorry, off of them. And then right here, we have it where it's nice and ribbed like a crawfish. Especially when it so you have the hook in it and it's a bit bent. And then we have a skirt right here. So if you do have a... Uh, Oh man, this is perfect because it already has a skirt on it. Let's see if it's a nice skirt because you could just put this on a uh, spin bait. And oh yeah, this is perfect for spin bait because you know it's not a high profile skirt and perfect for um, you know just putting on a spinner bait and then jigging it. Because man, this is it has nice blue um, sparkles on it too. Very high detailed. It's probably the most detailed soft plastic I've ever seen in my life. I'm really impressed with this, and I don't know if I'm going to top anything but this in this box, because I think this is the best I'm going to get. <laughs> Thank you, Riot. And, yeah, these are just crawfish, but interesting. Next, we have a live target um, yearling. Ooh. Okay, this is probably my favorite box I've gotten ever. Ever, like... Holy crap, these are baits that I've never seen before, or never had, or local Walmart, or the local tackle shops, I've never seen these, and they're really nice, so, I know they'll work. Alright, let's check this one out. Wow. So, look at this tiny little guy. It's, um, four um, yearlings, chilling right there. Let me move out of the way so it'll focus a bit. There's chilling, you know. Um, I wish in the front, like the other ones, it did have 3D so it wasn't just, you know, plain yellow in the middle. And I wish they were 3D. But this is a nice bait ball with a nice um, bill on it, too. Yeah, let me check, see how far it dives. Four to five feet. Hmm. I thought I actually would have dove more. But this is nice. Does it have a. No, it doesn't have a rattle in it. Hmm. But these are nice gold. Um, I feel like I could catch um, not just bass on this. I feel like I could catch even 
wow, I, I could catch catfish on it. I could catch a lot of things because a lot of fish like eating things that are in schools because they'll just take a chomp out of it. Um, next up, we have a ooh, uh, spool tech, um, Pro Series 4 inch fatty. So let me take this one out of the box for you guys. I've never seen this either. Ah! Okay, so don't hook yourself like I did. But, wow. Okay, so this part's plastic. And this part's actually, um... Wait. This is... Okay, it was heavy, so at first I thought it wasn't plastic and it was metal. So right here, this is weird. Let me try to figure this out. It does have this little switch on it. So it looks like... Huh. One second. Alright, so I figured this out and I love it. So, um, once a fish bites and pulls on the hook, it actually releases this leader that has 40 pound of steel braid on it. Which is nice, so the fish will actually not damage this as much. It reduces the chances of them getting off because they're not attached to this huge thing that's able to roll. And this is just hooked on the top of their mouth while this has a 40 pound test attached to it that's actually steel leader. So this is really nice, and then it just reels back in by you. Um, here, let me do it. You know, this is tedious, but man, this could save you your lure many times and help you with your hookup ratio a lot. And then I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like normally. So, you know, it's really easy to reel this back in. You just do it like this. It goes back in place. And you slide it back in there, like this. Man, that's perfect because you know, fish bites it and bam, this goes and they don't damage your lure and they don't get off as easy, too. So, and it does come with a replaceable paddle tail, um, real flexible actually. I was actually about to complain about it because I saw this on the tip and I thought it was going to be stiff, but oh wow, it's really durable plastic. Dang, this is one of my favorite lures I've ever gotten actually. Scratch that. On everything else I've been saying that I love. Next, okay, I'm back. Next, we have a monster bass, a slim gym. There it is. And then, um, let me go take this off. Okay. Um, it does not say, uh, oh, it doesn't have a bill in it. I was gonna say it doesn't say it's size, but this is a jerk bait and, um, three hooks. You can see. Oh no, it does have a bill on it, so. It probably just doesn't have a lot. It has a really interesting pattern on the top with hexagons. With one red hook on the front, where the rest are just a normal seal color. These are sharp, so that's actually nice. And um, it has a yellow coming down from it with a interesting shaped body. Here, let me kind of let me turn off the slide so you can see it a bit better. There we go. You can see the body's a bit shaped, a bit interesting, you know. And it does have a nice pattern on it, and I'm not sure about this lure, in all honesty. I think this is more of a gimmick to sell to the fishermen and not to the fish, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not the uh, genius. And next we have some Mustad Leadless hooks. So these are perfect for if you're in a very snaggy area and you just want to, you know, you don't want to lose all your lures or your soft plastics and have to cut your line or reel in a whole bunch of moss. These are perfect. Once a fish bites, it releases this uh, little seal thing that actually lets it get in their mouth. So that's nice. And then next we have some uh, VMM Ultimate um, Bassing um, High Tail Shad. If you didn't know what High Tail Shad are, you're going to be in for a surprise because these are really interesting. These usually, I don't really use a big head for these because these actually eyes are decent quality. They'll stick on. But here, let me turn off this light too, so you guys can just see all the detail in this. Okay. So. Oh, come on. <laughs> One second. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm going to hold it up to my skin, because that's a good um, background for it. So these have a, a high tail on them, which means... Up here, it's actually like this. It's more of actual paddle shape than a real paddle tail. But this is very disruptive in the water. Will trigger bites. And with a nice uh, sparkle color like this, 
this perfect without a jig head and just doing a weightless or having a weighted hook on. Um, I just smell these. These smell like plastic. I love when plastic. Sorry, I just love when they're um, pre-scented. It's a little pet peeve I have. Okay.